This video is sponsored by Warby Parker. More on that later. Hi, happy Monday. I have a story for you guys today. Now, before the story starts, I want you all to know that there are real, normal, non-YouTuber people involved in this story who have real jobs and lives. These are people who I want to make sure everyone knows don't deserve any harassment or hate, and I'm going to be changing their names in the story for that reason. Even though I know it's easy to do a little snooping and figure out who they are, there's no reason for that, and the main criticism I have with this story is on the company that made all of this happen in the first place. Okay, story time. Isabel and I were looking for a bean bag that I kind of wanted to get for the office, something to sit in. Of course, you can see that I uh, did that. I don't want to say the company of the beanbag I got because I don't want people to think that I'm like getting paid by that company to bash another beanbag company. This video is sponsored by Warby Parker, if you haven't heard, and they don't make beanbags as far as I know. They can if they want to, and I'll take one, but we're looking around for the beanbag. I wanted something that was affordable, but I also didn't want to pay a ton for one, even though I ended up doing that in the end. Sometimes you gotta pay for a product that works, I guess. I was about to get a fat boy beanbag. I didn't end up getting one. And so I was looking up reviews on YouTube because I wanted to see people who tried them out. And what I found was a video from a guy named Andrew, not his real name again, keeping it confidential. And it's called New Apartment Decor Incoming Yogi Bo Max versus Fatboy Original Slim Bean Bag. What's up, you guys? I'm going to be reviewing two different bean bags today, one from Fatboy and one from Yogi Bo. I'm going to be sitting in them, seeing how comfortable they are, weighing all the pros and cons. Come along with me. Listen. I thought Andrew seemed like a cool guy and I like cool guys, so I trusted his opinion. And I hadn't heard of this Yogi Bo company before, so I was ready to jump in, see what it was all about. Hey, maybe Yogi Bo is the beanbag for me. Now, as I kept watching, I became a little suspicious because I realized that there was obviously a better beanbag in this situation, according to Andrew, but it almost seems sort of biased. And I'll show you what I mean by this. This is the Yogi Bo. Nice and comfy. It's full, it's really soft. It's really comfortable though, fat boy. It's definitely a lot flatter. The material is a little, I don't wanna say scratchier, but my butt is now on my floor. I just kind of sink down a lot. It's really nice, it's comfortable. I don't feel like I'm sinking into anything. I think if I had to make my choice, I would definitely choose the Yogi Bo over the fat boy. I mean, this is either the best bean bag in the world against this awful bean bag, or there's something fishy going on here. I mean, who buys two beanbags from two different companies and then just review them. I mean, it makes sense if it was a review channel, but as I said, there's only one other video on this guy's channel. This video had only about 700 views, but it was on YouTube Kids, and so the comments were completely blocked and I couldn't see what anyone had to say about it. So I decided to do a little snooping and look into this guy to see if he maybe had some connection to the company or if he knew anyone who did, because this video was just posed as if it was just some normal guy who bought two bean bags and then decided to review them out of nowhere. And no one does that. He just said that he got two bean bags and he was excited. There was no instance of him saying that this was an ad. He never said one of the companies paid him. And it didn't seem like he was doing this for any other reason besides his own volition. So I did what anyone does and I looked him up on LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn didn't have any big Yogi Bo text up on his profile or anything, but it did say that he had this past in performing arts and he was an actor, he was a singer. And so I was like, okay, so he, he performs, that's a little something, but not really anything. And I moved on with my life. By moved on with my life, I meant I kept watching Yogi Bo reviews because I was really interested to see if I could poke any holes in this thing. So I started my manhunt and I decided to watch another Yogi Bo review by someone named Janet. I got these two awesome big beanbag chairs. This video was very similar to the last one. It was a comparison video of two different beanbags. It was the only video on our channel. The comments were turned off. It was YouTube kids. And the video seemed to have the same bias that the other video had with a lot of the same talking points also. The Yogi bow was super easy to open. I didn't have to do anything additional to set it up. So that was really awesome. Big Joe was not the same. As you can hear, I'm still a little out of breath. Super comfortable. Great for watching TV. Yeah, this one's super comfortable. Super soft and comfortable. This one does have a latex smell to it, which I maybe would want to wash the cover now that I've spent all the time putting it on. This one doesn't seem as easy to maybe move around. It does seem like it's kind of a little bit of a one-hit wonder, but it kind of conforms to my body. It's softer. 
I can move it around, feeling it. I just don't feel like there's enough sort of movement and bounce in this. I feel like I may have a little bit of an easier time getting the Yogi Bow cover back on. For me personally, I'm gonna go with the Yogi Bow. So I think you can see where I'm going with this right now. I believe that Yogi Bo is paying people to do these reviews and then shit on their competitors' bean bags. But the question is, why are they picking out these people who have no YouTube channel or following whatsoever? Okay, so I went to Janet's LinkedIn this time. And although she had no connection with the company, no Yogi Bo stuff popping out anywhere, I noticed she's the director of a dance company and has a background in the performing arts. This was interesting to me. I felt like a crazy guy going to connect the dots in order to uncover some huge controversy and nothing was going to stop me from diving deeper into this topic. Hello. Oh yeah, I'll have Wendy's. If you could just give me a 10 piece spicy chicken nugget. Now I did try connecting with both of these people on LinkedIn and Andrew actually did accept my request, but he read my message and then did not respond. Next up, I found another Yogi Bo review from someone named Chase. This time the comments were turned on and this wasn't his only video, but it was the only one that had anything to do with any sort of review. The rest of his videos were musical theater performances. Are you noticing a trend here? All right, I've been looking for a space saving solution to my tiny apartment in New York City and I'm so excited because I just got my Yogi Bo Max in the mail. Now this video is different in that even though he pretended he wasn't sponsored, he was much less sly about it. There are four ways to sit in a Yogi Bo Max. The first way is like a chair. Okay, I watched a girl do it on YouTube. I think I got it. Sit. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! And it's so comfortable. The second way you can sit in a Yogi Bo Max is as a recliner, and you just sit back into it. <laughs> so easy. Third way you can sit in a Yogi Bo Max is as a bed. I feel like I could sunbathe. The fourth way you can sit on a Yogi Bo Max is a couch, a dog. Another amazing quality of this Yogi Bo Max is this cover is easy to remove and machine washable. I'm gonna show you how easy to remove. This is my first try. I've been looking for this exact thing for years now. I tried looking at Love Sack and Moon Pot and they were all so expensive. This material is a patented cotton spandex blend so it's nice and stretchy but it's really soft. Two thumbs up two paws up, we love it. Chase was very confident in all the different positions you could sit in and all the talking points from the last two videos. And he hit all the talking points that we heard in the last two videos with grace and perfect execution. A little too perfect though. When I checked out Chase's LinkedIn, it was no surprise that he had an extensive background in the performing arts. So I kept going. I knew I was on the precipice of something great here. All of these people were in the performing arts, but they weren't on YouTube. But how could I connect any of that to a mildly famous beanbag company. I kept diving deeper though. The next person I found was someone named Sally who made their video with another person. Hey guys, we are here comparing these two wonderful beanbags. Right over here, I got the Yogi Bo Max in blue. It actually looks kind of navy, which is super awesome because I love that color. Love it. This is the Moon Pod in dark gray. They also were comparing two different beanbags had YouTube comments turned off, and this was their only video on their channel. This video is similar to your run-of-the-mill Yogi Bo review video, yet both people in this Yogi Bo video made their bias extremely obvious, and let me show you what I mean by that. The Yogi Bo Max is about two feet taller than the Moon Pod. Yeah, but this Moon Pod is actually almost double the price of the bigger Yogi Bo Max. The Yogi Bo Max came exactly like this, no assembly required. Yeah, and then we had to actually put the cover on to this moon pod, so. The Yogi Bo Max's cover is made with a cotton and spandex blend. And this is cotton polyester. So over time, it starts to kind of peel. And at the this, end of the day, this is probably the better bang for your buck because it's gonna last a lot longer. It's more durable. Mm -hmm. And take a seat. As you can see, it was super, super easy. And for, pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. but. Um, for me, the Yogi Bo Max is super comfortable. It supported me right away. I don't feel like I have to move around or whatnot because mm -hmm. it just formed to my body. Yeah, this one, I, I feel like I'm sinking into it. it I, have, I have sat on the Yogi Bo and it is more firm, whereas this one is more squishy. Wow, that was so easy. So I literally have so much room. I could probably fit two more people next to me and have it be comfortable mm. still. Yeah, and I could probably fit like one more person. And I'm noticing over here, the way your body is like forming into it, you have like a natural kind of pillow. Like a headrest. Whereas I'm kind of just like flat. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually nice because yeah. this is supporting the back of my neck. Yogi Bo Max has been around for 11 years and they have the patent for their products and also come in an array of colors for the Yogi Bo Max and the Yogi Bo Short. Yeah, and the Moon Pod 
is fairly new and doesn't have as many colors. Yogi Bo Max. Max. So I snooped in on LinkedIn again and I looked into Sally's life to learn a little bit more. I found out that they work at Disneyland because they have a background in the performing arts. And they were actually an associate director and producer at this performing arts school called the Young Americans. Again, not trying to dive too deep into these people's personal lives. And this is not to get them in trouble because they should not be in trouble for this. I'm just giving you the information that's necessary to tell this story because it does matter. Okay, so I note those facts down and then I go on to the next Yogi Bo video from someone named Alex. Hey, everybody. Everybody, it's here. I pinned him as a performing arts guy right away, and I was right. The comments were on this time, but it was still his only video. I also want to mention that for a beanbag review, the views on a lot of these videos are suspiciously high. Normal beanbag reviews would never get this popular on YouTube, but for some reason, this Yogi Bo company prompted so many people who were just chomping at the bits to see what other people had to say about it. Of course, we had our classic talking points with this video. <laughs> I'm barely taking up the full of this space, so you could absolutely fit a ton of people on this thing. You know, three or four this way, depending on how, how close you are or whatever. Uh, so the cover itself is super, super stretchy. It's great, it's, it's, nice and, it's nice and thick and durable. I could sit on this thing all day, and I think I just might. Some of these videos are about comparing a Yogi Bo product to another product, but some of them are just showing off the product on its own, which makes a little more sense because sometimes people want to do a review of a product they like. It's just very obvious when someone just decided to buy two separate bean bags and review them when they've never reviewed anything in their life. But these videos are still just as suspicious, the same talking points, the same biases. So I checked out Alex's LinkedIn, as you may have expected. And not only is he involved in the performing arts, but he happens to work for the young Americans. Not only does he work there now, but he went to school there. Now, what are the chances that the last two people I looked at both worked at the same company. Alex was attending classes there at the same time Sally was a director there. Suspicious became an understatement for me. I'm gonna stop you right there. Let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Warby Parker. So many people watching this, I can read your minds right now. I know that you have glasses that are scratched up or broken and you've been waiting to get new ones for the longest time, but you won't bite the bullet. That's the issue, you will not bite the bullet. Why? because they cost so much money. I, I didn't need to tell you that, everyone knows. In comes my friends at Warby Parker. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, vision exams, and contact lenses. The fact that you can do that all from home, I don't even have to go to the glasses store, that's amazing. But the best part is the fact that they don't cost a freaking arm and a leg. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses are also available. I took an easy quiz on Warby Parker's website and I was able to figure out what glasses were perfect for me. Warby Parker offers a free home try-on kit where they send you five frames for free, shipping and all, so you can see what works best for you without even leaving the house. I took an easy quiz on their website, figured out what worked best for me, picked the ones that were my favorite, and they just showed up at my door. Gotta do my favorite part, little try on. Here are their Langley lenses. Makes me look a little more, uh, what, sophisticated, you think? I love the color of the Gillian. These frames are awesome. Boom. And my favorite, the Briggs. I look like freaking Harry Potter with these glasses. That's not true. That's not what Harry Potter looks like at all. If any of this sounds like it could be helpful to you, try Warby Parker's free home try on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try on at home free for five days. And there's no obligation to buy either. It ships for free and they send you a free return label to slap on there and send right back. It's the easiest thing you can do to find the best pair of glasses for you. Try five pairs of glasses on at home for free by going to warbyparker.com slash Nick is not green. Thank you Warby Parker again for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the fun. Finally, I landed on someone named Dustin. This was Dustin's only video on his channel. What is up guys? Just got a new bean bag from Yogi Bo. And as you can expect, he loved the product. If you want something that is, you know, soft, comfortable, but durable, probably check out Yogi Bo because yeah, this thing is, this thing is pretty strong. So I'm excited to try it out. All right, so there is a zipper back here. So if you have dogs, you know, should be safe with your dog. Claws will not tear through this. 
Um, so you can just pop this thing off and throw it in the wash, should be good to go. Thing about this Yogi Bowl Max that makes it twice as awesome is this one is from their Zula collection. It's their outdoor line, which makes this thing good inside or outside. The fabric is UV protective. It's good with dirt. It's good. It's water resistant. So if you spill on it or you're sweaty in a hot summer day, um, should be good. Again, machine washable. Pop it off. Throw it in the thing, and you're good to go. Which makes this thing good. It's good with it's good thing, and you're good to go. Um, should be good. Yeah. Yep, there it is. That's my favorite one. <laughs> he also lives in like the most beautiful place I've ever seen. So this video could just be me being jealous that this guy lives in such a nice apartment. And that's why I made this video. So let's go throw it on the patio and see how it works. Again, guys, just to clarify, Yogi Bowl Max Zula edition, good indoors or outdoors. <laughs> Not too shabby. This thing is crazy soft. This thing, the Yogi Bowl Max cover is insane. It's a cotton spandex blend that's patented. I went to LinkedIn and learned that he considers himself a content creator. This confused me because his YouTube channel only had that one video on it. But hey, YouTube's not the only social media platform. And as I scrolled through his work history, feeling way more interested in this topic than I probably should be, my jaw dropped. Dustin used to be an admissions recruiter for guess who? You got that right the young americans the sixth person in a row who had a history in performing arts with three of them having a history in the same company i hit the jackpot baby but what did i hit the jackpot of i don't really know i needed more but at least at that moment i had a pretty good idea of what was going on with yogibo yogibo reaches out to these people who don't have a huge social media presence because they don't want that person to really know what's expected from a paid sponsorship and we'll get back to why that's so wrong later in this video those people get a free beanbag hopefully a little cash on the side and they make this organic video and no one really knows any better besides the company of course but i had to go deeper and i was actually lucky enough to have one of these six people accept my request on linkedin and respond to me. And that person was Dustin himself. Yo, you go, Max. But not only did he give me such a bizarre response, but it also left me very confused. They actually hit me up via Instagram. Typically how I've seen it done from brands, brands reach out to people with strong followings on IG that don't already YouTube. Free product they'll review more likely to do a review if they don't YouTube. YouTubes don't want to mess up their channel with random reviews. They make their first review and cross market to their social channels. The algorithm takes care of the rest. Now I followed up with asking Dustin whether or not the young Americans had anything to do with this and I have not gotten a response yet, but he hasn't read my message at least. So I'm holding out hope before I post this video. I expect him to say something, but let's talk about that response. First of all, why was the response worded like it was a bot? I don't know. It could be that he is a bot, but he has his social media all over his page and I looked at it and he seems like a real person. Now, Dustin mentioned that they reach out to people who have a strong presence on Instagram and Dustin and a lot of these other people don't have a strong brand on Instagram. So I'm just confused why he included that. 3000 people is a lot, but it's not really enough to warrant a paid sponsorship when there's plenty of other influencers out there on Instagram with a lot more followers who are also willing to do paid sponsorships. I mean, it could be because the payment was pretty minimal from Yogi Bo, maybe they just offered them the bean bag and then like a hundred or two hundred dollars. Who really knows? And that last line about cross promoting to their other social platforms interested me too. I went to their Instagram and found out that they repost a lot of these clips from YouTube reviews to their Instagram page. Oh, that's so nice. I'll trade the Yogi Bo, Grogu Hugger, and ship you back. Huh? I'll ship you back. You're not funny. Still not saying whether or not this person was gifted a Yogi Bo by the company, whether or not they got paid to make the video. Just posting it and being like, hey, this guy enjoyed our product. We He just made the video because he liked it and we reposted it. Not telling everyone that a certain video is an ad makes sense when you originally post the video on the company's page, but presumably they make these people post 
the initial review to their YouTube channel, their personal YouTube channel, and then they go and maybe repost it on the official Instagram page, which just makes it seem like these are normal everyday people who seem to really like Yogi Bo, and then Yogi Bo wants to tell everyone that normal people like their product, but they were definitely not paid because they just said that they were interested in getting a Yogi Bo for a long time. Another part of this that confuses me is that a lot of these videos have a good amount of views, but Yogi Bo's social platform isn't that big where it would cause this many views to go to a YouTube video reviewing their product just from cross promotion. I mean, they posted something 12 hours ago that has six likes. So I don't really think it makes sense why thousands of people would go to a review just because they cross promoted it. The last thing about Dustin's message that confused me, which I pointed out before, is that he didn't mention anything about the young Americans, which was like my big get. But I'm still certain that there's a tie between these people who all have a history with this company that only has 51 employees on LinkedIn. So I'm still wondering if he knows anything about it. Editor's note, I got a new lens for my camera and I just wanted to show off how good it looks. Also, I want to make two big updates, one of them being that Dustin did not ever respond to my message or read it. I feel like at some point he might, but for now I am left without answers. Or am I? Because I just got another big piece of news today. Our friend who used to be in the Young Americans, Sally, is connected with our other friend who used to be in the Young Americans. Dustin on LinkedIn, which unless it's just like a friend of a friend thing, that's a pretty telltale sign that they personally know each other. So this had to have come up. There's no way. My guess is that one person at the company got the deal and they were like, hey, if you want a free beanbag and uh, you want to get paid, just do you do this thing and I'll send you my contact. Now, the thing that did catch my eye in his message is that he said something about how these people get a free product and then they'll review it and it made it sound kind of like they don't get paid, which can kind of change the conversation of the video. If none of these people get paid for any of this, is it legally an ad? I think yes, because the reason they made the ad would be that they got the beanbag. So you're receiving something for the work you're doing and then therefore giving it a good review because you have to because that's how you got the beanbag. So it doesn't really change anything, but I thought those were some interesting things to point out. So that's about the extent of my knowledge. Final update, it is 147 on Monday. The video is gonna be out in like less than an hour and I got a message back from Dustin himself once again. Dustin said, the marketing director the guy who facilitated the videos and vetted talent was a young American. I, I don't know what the consensus is. I guess I guess that was the answer I was looking for this whole time, was just that, that there was a connection on the inside. So I win. So let's do a quick recap to talk about the issues I have with this practice and some other stuff that I think is important too. And I do want to mention legally that this is all speculation. I strongly speculate that these things are true, but legally, no one knows. Okay, so Yogi Bo speculatively approaches these people with a free Yogi Bo beanbag and perhaps a free beanbag from their awful shitty competitor. They also give these people a script to follow, which we can see from the similar talking points in every video. They always mention the different ways you can sit in the beanbag. Just, just sit right down. A seat. You can kind of stack them one on top of each other against the wall and basically turn it into another couch. How soft the cover is. Nice and comfy. It's full. It's really soft. Super soft and comfortable. It's softer. I can move it around. It feels really fluffy. It's nice and thick and durable. It's, uh, it's quite soft. Extremely durable. But it's also like wicked soft. So it's really soft. But also at the same time, it's pretty durable. It's nice and stretchy, but it's really soft. Durable. How you can fit more than one person on it. I could probably fit two more people next to me. Absolutely fit a ton of people on this thing. You know, three or four. Sit like this, somebody next to me. And there's room for more than one person or a dog. Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> you can put your puppy on here too. And of course, the fact that you can take off the cover and it's machine washable. Throw it in the wash, should be good to go. Um, should be good. Again, machine washable, pop it off, throw it in the thing, and you're good to go. The Yogi Bell Max, the cover is machine washable. This cover is easy to remove and machine washable. These come off and they're machine washable. These actually are machine washable. The cover is machine washable, so. The person posts it to their empty YouTube channel and then Yogi Bo pays to get give it exposure to show off how great their product is and how 
awful and gross their competitor is. Now, what's wrong with this? These people got paid, I hope. They at least got paid with a beanbag. And then they gave something back to Yogibo. That's a buyer and a seller. That's freaking capitalism, baby. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, let's talk about it. First of all, paying for an ad for your product and then going out of your way to make sure the person making the ad doesn't point out that they were paid to make that ad is a big problem. It's not a coincidence that every person we looked at today avoided talking about why they made the review in the first place. Sometimes we just have the urge to make a beanbag review. When you pay normal people to lie about your product and then show that video to a bunch of people who think that these are organic and real reviews, you're spreading false information. And not only is that illegal, but it's a huge issue to have online. How are we supposed to ever use YouTube as a platform to see whether or not a product is good or not if we can't trust whether or not the person making that review was just paid to say all of that? And it's easy to avoid as a bigger creator because it's highly illegal to not say it's an ad. That's why someone like Marquez Brownlee doesn't just make millions of dollars off of these companies just paying him to say good things about them. But for some normal everyday person, no one's ever going to notice. I'm sure Yogibo made a lot of sales from these videos that were seen by thousands of people who believed that the reviews were completely organic and truthful. That's the exact reason why at the beginning of my video and at the start and end of today's ad, I pointed out that they are sponsoring today's video. Whether or not I truthfully like a product, which I do, I really only do ad reads for products that I like, but some people don't care about that stuff, which is why it's illegal to not tell your viewers if you were paid to do an ad for a product because that's a breach of trust. Now, I don't think that any of these normal working class people deserve to be punished or harassed, but I do think it was kind of a serious oversight to not see how these paid reviews are just purposefully lying to people and practically stealing money from people who buy a product because they think they're watching a real review from a person who just happens to really like the product. Now, I do have to emphasize legally that I don't have concrete proof that five out of the six people we watched today were paid by Yogibo to make their videos, but I do have proof that at least one of them was, which proves as a whole that Yogibo pays people to do reviews for them. And they don't have them mention that it's a review or that they even got the beanbag for free in the first place. Also, what normal person is gonna believe that this is an honest review? There are four ways to sit in a Yogibo Max. The first way is like a chair. Okay, I watched a girl do it on YouTube. I would love to see Yogibo step up and argue that this person was just a super fan and they bought the Yogibo and just had to make this review. So what do I want out of this whole video? besides the fact that I thought it was really interesting. Well, for one, I think Yogibo is a slimy company and I encourage you to stay away from them unless you have the chance to try the product in person because you can't really trust anything you see from them online. I do think that the people who are paid to do these reviews and anybody who promotes a product without making it obvious that they were paid to promote it should take down that video if they aren't just gonna get sued from Yogibo from doing so. I also just want everyone watching this video to know why promoting products without disclaiming that you're getting paid to promote them is a big issue and that you should just be weary of others doing that online. Reviews online have become useless because companies can just pay people to say great things about their product online. And I think that's the biggest detriment to online shopping that not a lot of people look at. That's why there's laws where people have to disclaim that online, but it's really overlooked for a lot of smaller companies and smaller creators. Have you ever bought a product from Amazon and you find a little piece of paper inside that says, hey, if you give us a five-star review, and you send us a picture of it, we'll give you a $10 Amazon gift card or we'll give you this free product. That's the same exact thing. Now, I'm never gonna blame a working class person from accepting payment without knowing any better. Who wouldn't want a free bean bag and hopefully a little money on the side also? But once you understand why it's so wrong, it is your responsibility to make sure it doesn't happen more. I don't fault the people who made the reviews that we watched today, even though I think it was a bit ignorant, but I do fault Yogibo for paying for fake reviews and I just think it's extremely scummy. Even if the people whose reviews we watched did refuse Yogibo's offer, there's always gonna be someone else out there who will accept accept it. The people who Yogibo and so many other companies seek out are just normal people who don't have an online following and can't really do anything about it if they do realize that this is something Yogibo shouldn't be doing. And there's an infinite amount of those people and they're never going to run out. So the best you can do is turn it down and then encourage others to do the same. I also want to point out that Yogibo is not the only company to do this. There are so many companies in this country that have no backbone and want to move up in the industry. And so they just pay for good reviews rather than make a good product. And that itself stems into a whole other conversation about how hard it is for companies to grow organically in a capitalist system. But before the video gets too boring, I will stop it 
right there. Thank you for spending the time to watch this video. If you liked it, I got four channels. All the links are in the description down below. I'm playing video games. I'm doing funny little movie reviews. And I post a video practically every single day on the second channel. You should check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Nick is not green. I'm tweeting. I'm putting pictures on Instagram. And if you like today's video at all, just share it with one other person. Do me a favor. It'll help me out a lot. Thank you again for watching this video. I'm going to go sit in my beanbag that was made by a company who doesn't pay people to make fake reviews for them. Bye.